You guys like my hat? <laughs> hey friends, good morning. I'm so happy to see you guys. I hope everyone is having a fabulous and blessed day. Um, so I, you guys hear the baby? <laughs> He's saying, I hope you're blessed too. So today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. I am going to be donating 98% of my clothes. I need to keep that little extra bit so I have something to wear. Um, but almost all of my clothes are being donated. I'm gonna be donating to a local women's shelter. They're designed for women that are in domestic violence situations, are homeless, you know, they have children with nowhere to go. Uh, it's, you know, a tragic thing that happens in everyday life. There are women, as we know out there, that are scared to leave their spouses due to domestic violence um, and they need a way out. And these places, such as the Quigley House, which is the local women's shelter here in Florida, in my area in Northeast Florida, I really want to be able to contribute to that. They do take time to volunteer, however, Volunteering for me is a little bit hard with two kids, two small kids. So I feel like the next best thing I can do is donate. So I'm, like I said, I'm gonna be taking all of my clothes with the exception of just a few things that I need to keep so I have something to wear. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna be taking it to their local donation center. So if you guys are interested in watching me clean my closets out and my dressers out and providing these lovely women with clothes to wear, uh, I have a lot of work attire, uh, business attire from when I worked in an office. Um, and I think it's important that these ladies have clothing that they can feel good in, that they have confidence when they show up to the job interviews uh, to try to rebuild their life and establish uh, a new wrap. I'm more than happy to provide them with the with the clothing that I no longer use because I have been because I have been able to stay home with my kids uh, and I work from home and then I also do YouTube. So these things these are things that just sit in my closet and I think it's I think it's really important that if someone needs them and they can use them and I definitely know that the women at the Quigley House are going to benefit from the items that I have. Okay, so. I have some stuff that I've already pulled out just because I needed to get into the closet. But let me show you guys what we're, what we're working with right now. So here's all the stuff that we need to go through. There's some items at the top, uh, but not much. But you guys, 98% of this is going to go to charity. I'm going to donate it all. So let's go ahead and get started.
Okay, so here's what we have so far. These are all the clothes. Guys, this is probably like two foot tall. This is probably about two foot tall at this point. Okay, guys, so this is my husband's closet, which, give me a thumbs up, you guys, if he thinks, if you think he should do the same thing. Um, the dresser is full of his clothes. Guys, thumbs up this video. Where's my thumb? Give it a thumbs up if you guys think that my husband, Jason, should go through his stuff and donate all of his clothes, you guys, because he has probably just as much as I do. But, you know, these jackets... I have maybe worn once. Oh look, there's my little gown from graduation. Aww, I haven't seen that in a while. I have lots of blazer jackets in here from when I was a professional and I went to the office. Um, I don't do that anymore, but it appears the rest of this is all of his so my husband is the kind of guy that if he's gonna go somewhere he's buying a new shirt so that's how and you know what I'm kind of guilty of that too so that's how we've accumulated so much clothes but there's so many people that could benefit from you know just these shirts that sit in our closets and our dressers so I encourage you guys to go through your clothes and you know if you haven't worn it or you don't think that you would ever buy that again take it to your local donation center um, and even for, you know, with your kids, when they grow out of stuff, you guys, just take it to the donation center. There's kids out there that need jackets and, and clothes. All right, well, let's get back to it. All right, so here we are. Here's all the clothes I'm going to donate. It's a lot, you guys. This is just my stuff. This is not any of my husband's, uh, none of my kids, which I'm going to go through all that too. And I'm, you know, I got a lot to... To take with me but I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this folded everything's clean you know I just pulled it out of the dressers in the closets so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this put together neatly and then we're gonna box it up
Okay, so here it is. It's all folded and packed up in containers. Can't really see them very well, but they're in containers. So I'm gonna be dropping these off tomorrow. Um, their donation days are Thursday through Saturday. So today's Wednesday, so I'm gonna be dropping them off tomorrow. But again, you guys, I encourage you to take any clothes that you're not using um, for you or your kids and, you know, donate them. There's people out there that can use it. And if it's just sitting in our closets and our dress in our dressers, no need for us to keep it. But you guys, thanks for watching. Make sure if you haven't subscribed that you do, I would really appreciate it. All right, lovelies. See you later. Bye.